Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we have something I believe a whole lot of you guys don't know about. And it's just going to make your life a little bit easier. I mean, it's going to save you so much time, especially if you're into pipeline workflows, exporting one geometry from one place to another. Ah uh, yeah, so this is going to work for you. So, an artist by the name Oliver Hortz has already before now created an open source tool and I just figured out that maybe you guys don't know about it. So it's just good to bring this thing to light so you guys can see what it does. So you know how you can copy things from let's say Microsoft Word and paste it on Notepad. Yes, so you can exactly do that, but this time with 3D geometries. So link to where you can find these uh, is going to be in the description, so you can check that one out. And the cool thing about this stuff that this guy has made is it is an open source tool, which simply means you can use it for free. You don't need any licensing. It's also available on his GitHub, which I'm going to put the link where you can check that out. And this is actually called the OD. I kind of think that he should have called it OG, but it's called OD Copy paste external so it is uh, an easy script that exists for various platforms so in case you're working with maya houdini you know modo lightwave blender and you know uh zbrush sketchup whatever tool you're working with this supports it you can actually check out the couple of things that you can do with these things here and you can see what and what you can copy what and what you can transfer from one point to another things that has to do with vertex polygon and uv you can easily transfer those ones across these things very quickly so enough of my chit chat and let's get right into it for you to be able to download this you need to come over to the github you need to come over to the github and you need to check out which ones this supports right now uh, it says it supports 2.8 but i haven't really tested that so i'll go ahead and show you guys the other ones that i tested and you, you know you guys can check these ones out for yourself you can practice this if you want me to talk about some other ones tell me about it in the comment section and i'll come through you know like always so first things you need to do is you need to come over and you need to download the entire pack and the entire pack is about 31 megabytes so once you get this thing open you will also see how you can install these things from here so with these things installed because now i have it installed for zbrush and this is what it looks like uh you would definitely notice that i have this you know copy to external and paste from external there and at the same time, I have this installed in Maya. And you can see I went ahead to use the Python script here to actually pin them on a different custom. And I have this thing also installed in Houdini. Okay, so I would go through how you can work with this within this pipeline. So for example, you're doing something in, let's say you're doing some very interesting model in ZBrush and you want to bring it over to Houdini, do some effects and take it over to Maya and animate that. Yeah, so instead of exporting this and taking so much time to, you know, export the proper mesh, you know, do all of that stuff, we're going to play with this now and see how it works. So with ZBrush open here, what I'm going to do is go over to Lightbox and with the Lightbox, I can, you know, bring out any of the models I want. So I'm just going to bring out this head model and let's get loaded directly in here. And you can see I have the head model here, nothing too special, you know, nothing too fancy. Actually, I think I should go ahead and bring out the dog model because I, I think that would make a lot more sense. So yeah, I have this dog model here. And if I simply come over here and hit copy, I'm just going to show you guys what's going to happen. If I hit copy and switch over to Maya and simply copy all of those things and paste it directly here. And you can see we have this dog here super cool so think about your models you can make that model do the whole topology thing and you can just bring it directly here you don't need to export you know saves you that time huge time saver i love this one so you can come over here and i can just simply come through and choose to paste this and let's see if we can do some houdini magic with this so now that i have this ready uh what i can do now is i can just simply uh try to you know play some some stuff some some something something with this so i can come over here let me just go ahead and on and do that 
all right so i have this and if we want to play with houdini let's just go ahead and add a simple scatter and i can just throw in a simple scatter from here let's just scatter a couple of points around this bad boy and maybe i can just cut a point of 10 you guys might not see it because you need to turn on the flag so you can see i have tiny points around there and i want to actually explode this so i'm just going to throw in a small voronai and you guys might have seen this before so i'm just going to throw in a small voronai directly here and the same process works if you're working with uh, cinema so if you're working with cinema 4d of course you can still get uh, this stuff and you can see I'm beginning to have all of those cracks. Let's go ahead and explode this. Yeah, for fun's sake I mean we can actually get this thing from one app to another So why not just explode it if you can so I'm just going to bring in the explode view and just simply explode This bad boy and kaboom we have this I can literally take this from here back to ZBrush and do some crazy things All right, so you can simply just take it from here over to ZBrush and do some crazy things. Now, actually, we can even do something way more crazier. So, something way more crazy we can do is we can decide to throw in. I'm thinking about what we can do now. Okay, we can decide to throw in a poly wire. So, I can bring in a poly wire. So, let me just go in and throw in a very tiny poly wire. So, a poly wire exists here. And at this point, you know, we can choose to say we want this uh, poly wire to run through the entire mesh, which is something that is cool. I mean, it's more like a wireframe, but this is not what we want. So I might just simply say, uh, you know what, let's just get this extrude view and get the poly wire running through. And, you know, with the Veroni, we already have two different groups. So Houdini thrives a lot when it comes to doing groups. So I'm going to use the inside. So I'm just going to select here, come over to the group section and simply say inside so i just want this to happen within the inside and at the same time i can choose to turn this down and you guys might have already noticed before now that i'm beginning to have all of these things now while we're having this is because our normals are eva or you know our normals are not proper so we can just you know go ahead and just throw in a little bit of normal just make these things in entirely normalized and yeah we have this now let's just make sure that we have a lot more smoothness or subdivision happening here and we have all of the subdivision going on here now let's see what happens if we choose to merge all of these things together and do a simple explode yeah so let me throw in the merge yep so we can throw in this merge here and you see how fun houdini is i mean this is just one of those cool softwares i really think everyone should you know get your hands into play with it if you if you have to and kaboom we have this piece this 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 is this is it guys this is this is the bread this is the butter this is it so with this now you can simply just copy this particular object and go over to maya and <laughs> start animating this really really quick insane stuff you can get so i can simply just take this out of here you can even just simply keyframe this, get to the point where you want, and you can grab this object straight up from here, take it over to Maya and start working with it. I'm very excited about this new tool. So let's just simply go back. Uh, let me just type this a bit. Actually, we can go ahead and do something like that. And I'm going to hit the copy. And we, if we go over to Maya and paste it, you know, it's going to go through and paste this particular stuff. So I'm coming here directly in Maya. Oh, we like this dog, but no, we need something way more interesting. And I'm going to hit the paste and allow OD, or should I say the OG, to actually do its bidding directly here. Oh, it doesn't come with this. All right. So now we notice it doesn't come with uh, something that we want because we were within this section. So I'm going to come all the way down here and then I'm going to just simply throw in a null node. So I'm just throwing in a null, always throw in a null node. Null nodes are good. It simply means nothing is happening afterwards. So I'm going to do that copy one more time. Come over to Maya, click here. You know, now we need something really cool. Nope, and simply paste that there. Now directly here in Maya, we can now choose to start you know rigging this stuff so if i just press f on my keyboard you can see we have this here directly here in maya you can literally go ahead and you know start rigging this and at the same time you can grab this object from here and you know you can just simply co copy this and go over to zbrush and say paste from the external and is going to grab everything that we have from Maya and simply paste it directly here in ZBrush. And if you can go ahead and continue your sculpting, you can go ahead and continue whatever cool stuff that you were creating before now. And yeah, that's about it. I kind of find this as something that you guys would like. You may probably 
want to use this in upcoming you know workflows upcoming stuff this is a huge time saver the fact that you can actually copy things from here to substance painter and the fact that you can also copy things directly from here to apps like uh unity and unreal come on I, I don't know what else you're looking for i mean now it's directly in here and you can literally come over go to where you have your uh what's it called again you can go to where you have your polygroups and you can just simply make your automatic polygroups and you can get these things here so now you can have all of those cool houdini effects that you want so imagine how much time is going to take you to actually do these things i mean yes of course i know a lot of people would say you can cut things directly here in zbrush and you know use the curve brush to play with all of these things but that's not the point the point is you can literally grab something from here take it to another app do some crazy things and bring it back to this app by just hitting a simple copy and paste so i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section this is ridiculously nice i love it and the fact that i can go ahead and animate whatever i want you know is an easy breeze now and at the same time you can just move from one third party application to another i'm thinking about the idea that when you make something you can go over to another app do your proper topology copy it over to another app paste it directly there do your whole you know surfacing copy it from there come over to another app crazy stuff that can happen crazy stuff tell me what you think about this in the comment section I also suggest go ahead try this thing out and you know see it out for yourself and tell someone to tell someone to tell someone help the community grow help the next artist grow and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here and you want to see some more interesting stuff there's a whole lot of content on the channel go through check these things out you know get good with them and if you want to see more videos about these put those things in the comment section if you have questions you're asking ask those questions in the comment section and we're going to come through for you guys with tutorials that have to do with those things and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesdays tips and tricks things like this peace